Yo, it's Karyon. What's going on? I built this crazy looking base because I wanted to play with the motion sensors and making tunnels. I got this motion sensor hooked up to a light over there. If you look at it, it's always on. It's always moving. It's because it's powered. Two relay. This is a primary relay for this whole section right here. I'm going to block this off later with some hatches or something. Or some whatever, you know what I mean? Probably, uh, doors. But anyways... I'm going to go back into it, activate the light. Let's see how to work this thing. There's different power durations. It'll only last 10 seconds. So if you get out of its uh, little area, I think it's, where are we, 6, 5, four, 3, no, well, that's fast. It's faster than 10 seconds. All right, that it's just a light switch, that's it. I could turn it on. Uh, activate like uh, that light up there or that turret right there or those turrets just for 10 seconds but for now it's just the uh, the one light if I really want to be obnoxious I can go and also I'll turn on the light but that's just yeah. It's just unnecessary. Because, you know what? Most zombies come from a rooftop anyways. I'll be, lifting, I'll be covering all this, but that's nothing. Uh, lights. That's all its job is right now. More confusing stuff is activating your turrets. You notice the line? I have it. The power duration, always. But I'm going to turn that down to... Six seconds. One. And it's activated. Any, and it's activated. Anything that comes in here will be shot for like next six seconds. Which isn't bad. Six seconds is long enough to drop uh, uh, your random s screamer. Uh, we're not firing hordes in here, right? But if we were, you can turn it right up to 10 minutes, 60 minutes, or just keep it on all the time. Personally, I just. 15 seconds at the most is good enough because uh, for for instance if anything lives longer than 16 15 seconds it deserves to live so yeah activate 15 seconds now you're wondering about this camera it's uh it is powered i have it hooked up to the switch light off i can turn it off what happens the door closes that's what i hit when i leave no one else can touch that and even if someone does come here and they do touch it, they can't open it. I can, but I'll show you why. If I was nobody, see my little head, target self. If I was a uh, stranger or a zombie, and I turned on the switch, try to try to pop it. What's going on? It's, it's not working. It's not targeting me. But, I have it targeted to me. Bam. It comes home. Let's me in. Easy peasy. You have to make sure that this primary relay is powering three separate lines. See that one? This two there. This one can actually go straight to there, but I had to go right here just in case. This one goes down. This is like the main little hub that controls all three. So look, I can go right here too. Look. Bam. Then. Bam. And it does the same thing. Always just remember where the main power line is. That's the main power line. So I'm leaving the house. I'm on my bike. I jump off the bike. Switch the power off. Dunzo. Leave. I come back. Switch power on. It's just a security measure. This door is not going to open by itself unless it's got power. You have to make sure it's got power. That is the light switch and it will only target you if you set it for yourself. So moving on. Ooh. Fancy. Oh, hey, look at that hatch. It opened up. It opened up and it blocked anybody who may be following me. That means I don't have to close this door. 
I can keep that open. Let a wandering horde come in. I don't care. They ain't getting by that vault. Well, maybe they will. But as you can see, these little hatches, they need power to open. They're closed right now, and those are down, right? I mean, it makes sense. I have this motion sensor connected to this light, this light, and it goes all the way to that one right there. So when I leave the motion sensor sight, see the yellow line? Yellow light. Yellow light is the motion sensor sight. So we move in. Activate it. Yeah, there we go. It's safe. But what happens when you leave it? Well, uh -huh. this is what happens. Oh no! Look! It shuts by itself. But that's why I have this one right here. actually have it connected to this motion sensor. There you go. Activated. Now let's see where it's connected, huh? It's connected from the generator to the motion sensor. Motion sensor to the lights. Motion sensor to... Where did I put it? Put it in here, actually. A sneaky spot. Right behind the gate. See? This right here connects to that one right there. Nothing else except that. This there. Back to the motion sensor in the back. See? Easy peasy. How do you get these gates to open up? Eh, you connect this guy. Here. I'll show you all real quick. I'll disconnect everything. By starting at the front. Two. It doesn't take long. Once you figure out the timing for these things, it's pretty easy to uh, disconnect. Oh, oops. You know what I need? Is power. So, I'm going to pick up my door. This door needs power to open up, right? Mm -hmm. This one here is not going to open because I'm going to disconnect it. No, left click to disconnect. Lights. Lights. More lights. That's how I disconnected. It's not feeding anymore. Except for now, just my short disconnect from the power supply. Power supply is in that room. Shut that off. Fast way to disconnect all these. Get to the nearest junction. It's this one. It always goes back towards the main power. Watch. Left click. Off. Running's off. All these connections are all off. But I do need power up. This one. But I don't. I need power up. This door. Disconnect. This relay. Real quick. This is free converter. What's that connected to? Uh, let's find out. It's connected to the relays that are inside there. Okay, right click. Real quick. See, the motion sensors on. I'm just powering up the, uh, the generator so I can disconnect all these relays. Now it's connecting. It needs power to open. It doesn't need power to close. It's, closed. it's like spring loaded, so it always closes. These two, they always close. If you're going to set up a situation where you want a tunnel like this, where it's automated with motion sensors, you want to put this in last with that switch. I'll go over that later. So, right now, let's bring some juice to this house. Generator's running. It's got five engines, 250 watts. Power outage, power watt outage is, is putting out as zero. So yeah, it does need gas, so it always needs gas. So just refuel that little sucker. It lasts a long time, like way longer than your uh, four-wheel drive there. So there you go. Power up motion sensor. He's looking at me. Nice. Sees me. You can also aim. Go to right here. There shows this guy. This little square right here. Click it. You can aim it. But uh, I like to put it right about here. Because you can measure the yellow light. At which you're going to activate the sensor. Once you come into the room, bam, looks at you. It also tracks you, see? You stop. Can't see you. Let's have it turn on some power here. This light. Relay this light. That one. Relay that one. 
that one. Now they're all on. So long as that light sees me. Let's uh let's hide from them. Hide from the yellow light. Off. On. Off. On. Easy peasy. So we're not gonna connect this one until we open this door. We can't open this door until we access this motion sensor. So we have to power that motion sensor. Right click, right click. Here, open that one too. See? I can run it directly across to power that one right there. Oops, you notice the line? But it goes right across the ceiling. It kinda Yeah, it doesn't I don't kinda bug kinda bothers me. So if you really want to control it, right click here, right click this one. Here, let me show you how it looks. See, right click it, and then connect it to this one. This wire is going to disappear right along the line right here. Watch. Can't even see it because it goes way back here somewhere. So I right click this, put in the light, it goes there. Eh. It's kind of meh. Let's clean it up, huh? Let's uh, right click this guy to that one. That one. Can't do that one. Sorry. My bad. Need that one. This one. That one. That one to that one. Let's see how it looks now. I mean, it was one cable. Uh, yeah. You can really go into ceilings if you want. But this is a quick makeshift base. And voila. This is all open. But we got to make sure security is situated. This thing right here. It needs power so that it's open. So what do we do? We use the lights as a relay. This light right here. Badonk. See, once you start feeding the power, it opens. Get out of the, the yellow light. It closes because it's got no power keeping it open. It's being loaded. Great. Now that the gate's open, we can go back to this guy. Open the gate. Relay. Relay. And relay to the interior security hatch. So there's no power going anywhere right now. Until you activate the motion sensor. Power to the boat. Easy peasy. Alright. We're halfway there. Let's uh let's get some power flowing on its own line. See notice there's three lines. This line goes to that sensor, that line goes to that sensor. Now this one I'm attached to is going to its very own relay right there. This relay is going to feed this one. This one's going to feed that one. That one's going to feed this one. That's the primary relay for the exterior motion sensor system that we're setting up. All right, now that we're outside, remember, this needs power to open. We're not going to give it power. Until we feed it through that sensor. How do we do that? By running it to there. Look, it's going to turn on. Let's see, well, once you connect it, right? Obviously. Okay, but don't go in yet. You know, if you go in now and it turns off, look, it's always on, right? How are you going to. What? How did it. Do you have to turn it off though? I mean, like, you still got to secure your base, right? What's gonna happen? People are just gonna walk right in. This is gonna happen. They're gonna take all your shit. So you just 
don't connect it to its own relay source. You use your own personal source, power up the switch, switch on the light to the sensor, and there you go. It's always on, and it'll always stay on, and it'll always keep this door open for you. That is until you decide to leave. I'm leaving now. I don't like this base. You can have it. Switch it off. Close the door. Walk away. Which says it don't work. Now here's where having a security camera is pretty cool. Uh, you open her up. You can turn off yourself. Give it a test. It's not gonna. It's not gonna activate that door. You need power to open it, right? So you turn it on. Look. It's on. It's got power. But it's not activating this thing because it's a little junction itself. That's all it is. It's just like that thing, except it's, you know, it's a motion sensor guy. So let's turn it on to me. Bam. Hey, buddy. Open up. Right on. Actually, I'm leaving. See ya. All right, I'm coming back. All right, I just always got to switch it on. That's it. I wish it was more automated, but it's not automated like that. It's always either on or off, these things. I wish it were. But it's not. Well, let's get our lights on, huh? And our little exterior security measures. Right click there. Right click there. This guy goes to the pressure plate. Pressure plate to the submachine gun. Check out the submachine gun's power duration. 15 seconds. It's going to turn on right away. You can delay that. I do that with spike traps. I'll put it down to like, I'll wait five seconds before they start firing. That way it gives them time to stack up down like a straight tunnel. You know, and it kind of goes back and forth. But in this situation, you want it instant because yes, submachine gun turrets right there. And they're going to come in. Activate it. You hear him going? He's going to go 15 seconds. You can even see where he's looking. Look. You can't even shoot it. There you go. This should turn off in like four seconds. Of, there it is. Cool. I like that. This closes the door. I don't want I don't want zombies coming in behind. Like, actually, let's open it. <laughs> right click this. To that guy. Motion sensor. That light. Is it on? Yeah, it's on. Nice, it's not bad. So when you're coming home, and you're stumbling around, look for them keys. This guy's got your back. It'll last for 10 seconds. Should give you 10 seconds. Come here. Get off your bike. Switch on the light. Where's my, where's my bike? Let's give it a little test ride, huh? Oh, look at this. The generator's been on all this time. Wasting gas. Alright, that's it. Let's get in there. Motion sensor turns on the light. Where's that light switch again, bro? There it is. Nice. Let's get inside. Motion sensor. Ah, uh, it's good to be home. Look at that. I even got the little hatch opening up. I'm going to go downstairs. Lights are going to turn off behind me. Hatch is going to open up, protecting us, lighting up this room as well. Now I can eat a sandwich and drink a bottle of water, have a coffee, have a beer. You know, take a bath. That is, well, can't have too much of a long bath because you got to stay within the light. <laughs> Hey, you leave. Done. Power on. Alright, let's go for a little ride as we leave. Alright, see a base. Good base. Awesome base. Close the door behind me. There you go. Leaving. Hit the switch. Hanging up. I gotta fix all that. Oh, this ramp is crazy. I'm coming home now. Lights on. Switch. Coming in. That's it. 
Remember, one, two, three separate relays. That's the first motion line from the Jenny. Second motion line goes to that motion sensor. The third one goes to the exterior uh, relay right here. And where does that connect? To here. Then to here. Then to here. And then it's all over again. Awesome. I hope you enjoyed my video. I am not sure if everything's going to turn off when I go to bed. Always. Always. <laughs> Triggered. No, right. No matter what's what, you always have to have a manual door when you log off inside your base if you're going to go to bed. So let's get a bit. Good old vault door. Well, that's being made. That's a non-powered vault door. That's one that's manual. We're going to put it right here in the middle. Because uh, you always got to close the door. No matter what. Because a lot of made guys don't know that you're logged off. So they're going to they're all going to stay open. You're logging off inside the base. They're going to think you're... Well, logged off, and they're just gonna shut off. Yeah, if I'm building this, got a little bit of painting to do, but other than that, I'm gonna put this door somewhere else. Actually, it's uh, just so you guys know I'm serious. That's. Why are you still on? Triggered. Let me. Triggered. There it is. Nice secure door. Secondary door. I mean, when you're online and you're gaming, you can always keep this door open and everything will shut behind you. I got a member as a switch. Back. We log off. Close that door. I mean, you don't have to lose the door, I guess. Just my opinion. I love just switching the doors open and stuff. Yeah. It's all secured. Look at that. Nice. Oh, well, I'm going to bed. There it is. Close this one, too. You don't have to. I mean, I kind of... I like it closed because it keeps the heat in. <laughs> awesome. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was informative.